everybody. This is Alan Moore, Certified Financial Planner and Founder of Serenity Financial Consulting. Thanks for joining me. So student loan debt across the United States has topped $1 trillion. Um, according to FinAid, that is growing by $2,800 plus dollars every second. That's over $10 million an hour in student loan debt is being taken out in the U.S. That's a huge number. <clears throat> and unfortunately, some unscrupulous uh, crooks are trying to take advantage of people's fear and lack of knowledge about student loans um, and basically use that in order to uh, take advantage of them, we'll say. Which leads me to my story. A friend recently came to me and was furious. She's in her late 20s, uh, middle income, no spouse, significant other, no children, uh, really no, no one that is financially dependent on her at all. A life insurance salesman had approached her about buying a whole life insurance policy. Now she knows enough to say that she didn't need life insurance at this time and politely told the salesman no. Well, undeterred, the life insurance salesman called her parents and talked to her father and said, did you know that when your daughter dies, if, if she were to die prematurely, you'd be responsible for her student loans? Can you pay those off? Do you have enough money just to write a check because the government's coming after you? Now, terrified, her father purchased a whole life insurance policy on his daughter on the spot. What's wrong with this story? Your federally issued student loans go away at your death. They disappear. The government is forgiving those loans. They're not coming after your spouse, much less your parents, to pay off that debt. Essentially, the, the life insurance salesman flat out lied in order to get the sale. So should you or anyone else ever purchase life insurance in order to pay off student loans at your death that are federally issued? No. Short answer, you don't need it. But what about privately issued student loans? Now those can be a little bit trickier. You're going to have to actually go to your lender and ask if they forgive student loans at your death. Some of the larger major lenders such as Sally May and Wells Fargo will actually forgive student loan debt um, at death, sometimes even if it's been co-signed, uh, but not all lenders will. So you need to check with your lender, uh, particularly if you're with a smaller one. Um, and if, if your lender is a smaller lender and doesn't forgive at death, maybe you want to consider consolidating your student loans with a larger lender that will forgive those loans. If not, and, and there's just nothing you can do about it, purchasing a very small term life insurance policy that will pay off those student loans at your death may be appropriate. So this is such a frustrating story for me because um, I hate seeing people get taken advantage of, but I also know how difficult it can be to find a good second opinion and just to even find somebody to ask questions. So that's why at Serenity Financial Consulting, we actually offer a free second opinion review of any insurance or investment product sales that are being uh, pitched to consumers, whether they're a client of Serenity Financial Consulting or not. Um, it's kind of our way of helping people navigate the complex world of personal finance. But there are plenty of service providers for non-personal finance related questions um, that are honest and are going to give you a, a good second opinion. So if it's anyone is ever trying to use fear in order to sell a product to you, whether it's insurance or a new roof or fixing your car, go get a second opinion. Take a break. Most of these things are not you know, life and death emergencies at the very last minute. Go get a second opinion from someone that you trust. Um, you'll be thankful that you did. So what do you think? Have you ever had a salesman just flat out lie to you only to discover later that they were not being truthful? I would love to hear uh, your story. So that's all I have for today. Thanks so much for joining me.